Welcome to the WBRW Canada Forum. I'm Chris Gray with the Romeo Observer, and here with me is Pete Lucido. Pete, how are you doing? Good morning, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Could you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, I am born and bred, homegrown in Macomb, and uh, I am married to my lovely wife, Anne Marie. We live in Shelby Township with our three beautiful children, Brianna, Nina, and Peter. And Brianna has graduated from the university and has moved on. She is uh, out of state, no job. And uh, that's where she went to go seek her employment and continue her education. I have another daughter who's over at the university now and a child, Peter, my baby, who is finishing up uh, senior year in high school. Great. Yeah. Now, Pete, could you tell me, why are you running for a state representative? Well. I, I, I've decided to run for state representative almost a year ago. Um, I started on the campaign trails because of my keen sense of business. Uh, I'm a businessman. I'm not a politician. I think career politicians have got us into this mess, and we've got to find a solution. And a good state representative has solutions or options available to the public. As a state representative, my business and leadership in the community will lend itself as a natural progression to help with these issues that are held within the 36th district. Also, I'm a business owner in a magazine. I started the Macomb Now magazine here in Macomb County. It's an exclusive lifestyle magazine that features fun, food, fashion, finance, health issues. And uh, I started at the worst economic time because I want to tell all the good about Macomb County. We have a great community, the 36th district, and I want to bring the best that I can give to this district. Great. And so why do you feel you are the best candidate to represent District 36? I have a very good sense of the law. And after almost 28 years of practicing law and giving the ability to help families, both large and small families, I come from a large family myself, small businesses and individuals, senior citizens, as well as veterans, I feel I'm a very good insight into the law and how it protects and provides rights for individuals here in the 36th district. I'm very sensitive to what the legislative intent is and I want to be able to bring all of the knowledge and experience I have as a business leader and also a fiscally responsible businessman to the 36th district to help us out during these rough economic times. Okay. And so what do you believe are the top three legislative priorities? Well, without a doubt, I've ran on a platform families first. And I believe if you have your family and you have your family within your community, anything is possible. I also believe that we have a very serious problem right now with retaining jobs and keeping people in the community. I'm not just talking about the brightest talented college students. I'm talking about other individuals that want career opportunities. I came out with these programs that we used to have years ago. I want to bring back those programs such as co-op, CETA, those programs engage the students before they even left colleges to go ahead and find jobs that were comparable or matchable to what their needs and what their wants are. Mm -hmm. If we keep the young, bright, talented students in the community, it will help our seniors, and here's how. Seniors need the tax base to provide for those services. So when you align a job up with an individual, whether it be a college student or a non-college student, I want to resurrect some of the trade schools, plumbers, mm -hmm. welders, mechanics, those things that are necessary for us to move forward, and those are good paying jobs. I want to bring those jobs to maintain the stability of our tax base. I want to invoke a program that will give veterans the proper rights that they deserve. Thank them for their service. I want to bring seniors also and fight any way I can legislatively against Obamacare, protect them against Medicare fraud. Those things are necessary. I want to be a helpful hand to this community in a community service way that provides um, customer service. That's what we are. We're good customer service representatives that go to the state legislator. And I want to provide the loudest, strongest voice to this legislator and process that I can give to the 36th District. Pete, a really big issue after this winter has been the roads and just how bad they've been. Do you have any ideas on what we can do to make them better? I sure hope so. I've been giving that a lot of thought. Um, I believe that we need to have better warranty provisions. I believe that we need to have better control systems in place that will allow us to only build the road one time and have it maintained in such a way that will provide us uh, not to be having orange barrels hit us every other weekend and 
diverting us 14 miles one way and 10 miles another way and paying for the extra gas as well as the inconvenience of time on the taxpayers. Raising a gas tax is not the issue. I've thought about possibly having a lottery, calling it the road lottery, and anything in excess of a million dollars in one day, have that go exclusively and uh, succinctly for the roads. We have to repair our infrastructures and bring back the roads that once were built years ago. Um, I believe the taxpayers have been burdened too much. I don't want any new taxes whatsoever, including road tax or gas tax. The taxpayers have burdened, have the burden themselves, and those who stay shouldn't have to pay. People will leave the state, and I think that we have to be genuine to the taxpayers, and that's this. Give them the opportunity to have somebody looking over warranties, issues, and how the roads are being built and how the repairs are being done. More importantly, do it through a lottery system so that we can go ahead and make it fair for everyone. That's what we need to do here in the state. Great. Well, thank you very much, Pete, for taking these questions.